Hey y'all, welcome back. This week our focus is on helping our children be more organized and cleaning their room and helping kind of sterilize toys and make everything germ free. Really helps during cold and flu season to kind of keep the toys that your children interact with germ free. And there's a really quick way to do this. So we're gonna talk about cleaning our children's toys, books, games, and puzzles. Since we're gonna use the same cleaning ingredients, we're just gonna go through each one, each category at a time, just so you can see a quick, easy method that's non-toxic and safe for your children, grandchildren, in my case, grandchild, so that you can make sure that the toys are clean and germs aren't being passed around and just makes you feel good. Remember, we're always thinking about the psychology of clean. So first, I have a towel laying down on my work surface. You can do this in your children's room. Um, I'm just gonna do it here in the kitchen. So you wanna have a towel down for, to protect your work surface. You also want to have your hand protection. Um, so rubber gloves or disposable gloves. I like the rubber gloves better, reusable, less rubbish. Um, Listerine, I've used the whole bottle in this bin of warm water. So let's see if you can see. So that's Listerine and water. Remember, Listerine kills germs and it's safe. So you don't have to rinse it off of your toys. It's just gonna kill the germs. But remember, it is a mouthwash. So it's okay if your children then put the toys in their mouth. Uh, there's no residual chemical toxicity. I also have a bottle of my Murphy's Oil Spray Solution and my Listerine Spray Solution, which is one part Listerine to one part water, the same that's in here. This we're gonna use for the electronic toys, the ones that make noise and all of that, you know, that go off in the middle of the night. We're gonna use this just to wipe down the outside. But we all have, our ch if we have children, there's all these little toys and you know these, these are the ones you step on. Action figures, dinosaurs, you know, Hot Wheels, train tracks, um, you know, all of these we want to clean. And I do this periodically, especially when, you know, I'm purging my grandson's toys. I want to make sure that every so often I'm visually inspecting them to make sure that they're not broken and that they're safe. They don't pose a choking hazard. Um, especially if you have really little kids, you're going to want to do this a little more often just to make sure that those toys are in good shape and those little small pieces can't come off and create a choking hazard. We're all a big fan of Legos, so if you have a laundry or a lingerie bag that you use in your washer for your lingerie, it's great for Legos. So let's get started. For the toys that toys that are not battery operated, we can clean them really quickly in just a little bit of water and then we can let them air dry on the towel. If it's a nice sunny day, you can put them out in the sun to dry. You can actually do this out in the sun. But remember, as we're cleaning, we want to visually inspect all of the toys to make sure that there are no sharp edges, broken pieces that could pose, or any kind of loose pieces that could pose a choking hazard. Especially on these little matchbox cars, you want to make sure that these tires are nice and secure, that they won't pop off and create a choking hazard. So let's get started on the toys. What we're going to do is just take the toys and we can just pop them right into the Listerine solution. Now I have my old toothbrush. Remember we replace our toothbrush every month and when we use the old ones for cleaning, and you can see this one's done its share of cleaning. But I can use this to get into the crevices if I need to, um, especially if your child plays with toys outside. You can just wipe off any kind of stuck on dirt or, you know, like that candy that, or that sugary, sticky candy residue. You can just wipe that off with the brush if you need to, but you don't have to. You can just pop them in and soak them. Same thing with the action figures. They can go right into the water and the Listerine. And they can just sit in there for about five minutes. And any kind of, lid of loose dirt or, you know, 
um, any kind of loose uh, dirt or debris on the toys will float to the top and if you want to straighten that out you can as you go. I usually use about two bins of two bins of water when I'm cleaning the toys. So just let them soak in there for a bit and then when they're finished soaking you just take them out and lay them on the towel. They'll air dry in about 10 to 15 minutes. So by the time you're finished cleaning all the toys, the first ones that you cleaned will be dry. The cars you want to shake off pretty well to get the water out. So it really doesn't take long. Now just a, a, a reminder, the Listerine brand Listerine, not the generic brand. If you read the ingredients on the label, the Listerine is made with essential oils and alcohol. The others are made with lots of chemicals. So I only use the Listerine brand mouthwash. I don't use the generic or the store brand. I actually use the Listerine. Now for the larger toys, same thing, you just pop them in. Let them soak. You can use a terry cloth wash towel, a terry cloth washcloth. If you want to scrub them, you can. You can use your toothbrush or you can just kind of let them soak. You just want to give it long enough for the water and Listerine solution to get off any surface dirt as well as any kind of um, surface residue. That could be oil from the hands or you know kids, they have their hands in their mouths after they've eaten a sugary snack and then they touch their toys so you're going to have that sugary residue. So you want to just give the water and Listerine solution time to dissolve that. And then when they're finished, you can just set them out on the towel to dry. Drain as much water from them as you can. This one's holding an awful lot. but they are a beast to wash, especially if you're trying to do them in a sink or a bin because you've got to pick them up. The most effective way to wash your Legos is in your lingerie mesh bag. Um, a lot of people suggest putting these in the dishwasher. I don't. Um, first of all, it's very easy to dip these into the Listerine solution. You can also use your bathtub. Put some water in your bathtub, put some Listerine, but I find the bin works just fine. I might have to do them in a couple of batches but it still works fine. I just spread them out on the towel, let them dry, and then pick them up. So I'm just going to plunge those right into the Listerine solution. And I like to make sure that I'm kind of massaging the Legos just to make sure that that Listerine solution is in, able to get in between all of them into the little crevices to kill as many germs as possible. The other thing is I like to make sure all my Legos are taken apart in pieces and not all stuffed together just for more effective cleaning. So I'm going to pop those right in there. And I just kind of keep agitating them and that gets so much of the dirt and um, debris left that's in between all those Legos if you could see how dirty these are. And then you can just let them drip for a few seconds and then just dump them out on a separate towel or you can put them in your Lego building tray on a towel and just let them air dry. So here I'll show you how dirty that water gets just from those few toys that we used, that we just cleaned. Now, that's for all of the toys that can be submerged. Let's talk about
Let's talk about cleaning. Toys who can't be, that can't be submerged, such as like battery operated toys. We can still use the Listerine solution, one part water, one part Listerine, and we can just spray those down. So you wanna lay the towel down on your towel on your work surface and use your Listerine spray just to spray it. And then you can just use your terry cloth washcloth to just wipe it just to get that surface residue off. And there, he's nice and clean and he's sterilized. And that's how we're going to clean toys that we can submerge and that we want to kill germs. But now we're going to move on to the other type of toys that our children or grandchildren may have. And remember, we want to clean them, but we also want to disinfect because we don't want to pass germs between our children or children that come over to play. We want to make sure that we are reducing the germ load on the toys. Now stuffed animals are animals that get dropped on the floor or they're toys that get dropped on the floor. They also can get chewed on and our hands, the children's hands, you know, constantly. Uh, but the nice thing about stuffed animals is they can go right into the washer and the dryer. Now what's really important about the stuffed animals is to check the eyes. Now this one has sewn on eyes, which is what I prefer for small children. But if they have the plastic eyes, you need to check those because they can be a choking hazard. Make sure they are secure and not loose. The threads are nice and tight so that that doesn't pop off and become a choking hazard, particularly for really young children. So stuffed animals can go right into the washer. I like to put just a little bit of fabric softener in so that they smell wonderful. And then they can go into the dryer and they're nice and clean and soft and fuzzy to give your child comfort. The next category are our children's books. Again, they can get lots of residue. In fact, you'll see sometimes when you see your children's books or you go to a children's library that some of the books have almost a black sticky surface, almost um, a black residue. That's from the oil in people's hands as they handle the books. And then that oil then attracts dirt. So we want to make sure that we clean that. But also children pass around books and we want to minimize the germ load in the transference of germs from one child to another. So periodically I just like to go through the books and I like to clean them with the Listerine spray. So I just spray my cloth with Listerine and I wipe down the outside of the book, the binding as well as the front and the back of the book. Now this one has a plastic cover on it so it makes it super easy to clean. Here's a tip, a great way to encourage your child to read or for you to read to your child is to mark, to read a book, like if you want to do a read aloud, and then put a little sticker in the corner of that book. And that indicates that that book has already been read, and then you'll move on to another book until you cycle through your whole child's library. When I did this with my grandson, we made it a summer reading project, and we decided to read every book in his library. So we indicated with a little sticker each time we read the book, and then the book would go back on the shelf. Once we made it through the entire library, then we went to the bookstore and he was able to pick out five new books that he really wanted. Go through the books, go through the books, and we're gonna clean the outside of each book, removing all the dirt, the germs, and the oil. Using our Listerine spray, spray it on the rag, and then just wipe the outside of the book. Now, when we clean our adult library, I like to look on the inside of the book to make sure that I haven't just accidentally stashed something in there, such as a receipt or maybe a lottery ticket. I, want, I like to just flip through them with children's books. I don't do that as much because um, children don't normally stash a lot of things in their books like adults do. We tend to use whatever is on the table next to us as a bookmark. 
So sometimes we forget where those important receipts or papers are. So we're just going to go through our child's library today using our Listerine spray and we're going to clean and disinfect the outside of the book. We have cleaned our toys, the books, and the stuffed animals, so now we're going to move on to puzzles. So the best way to clean a puzzle is to have your child or grandchild put the puzzle together. And then once the puzzle together, you can take your Listerine spray and your terry cloth washcloth and just spray the washcloth and then wipe the puzzle down. I'm just going to demonstrate using a puzzle piece and just wipe it down. And this is going to remove the germs. This is going to remove the germs or any type of sticky residue that's on the puzzle. This is clean. You want to take your Murphy's oil spray and you want to clean the puzzle with the Murphy's oil spray. This is going to give a nice sheen to the puzzle pieces. So just give it a nice and that just kind of gives it a nice glossy finish. But also, go ahead and wipe down the puzzle box. That way, the box is clean. And since the box is empty, go ahead and just kind of dump out any kind of um, dust or little dirt particles or pet hair that's in the box. And so now, you have a nice clean puzzle. If you have puzzle pieces, puzzles where the pieces are missing, you can use those pieces in craft projects to make, uh, to cover picture frames and make gifts for people. Um, you can make refrigerator magnets. You can do all kinds of crafts with puzzle pieces um, if the puzzle pieces are missing and it's an incomplete puzzle. So now we have the puzzles clean. So now we're going to move on to games. You want to make sure that you keep all the little game pieces together. It just makes the game much more effective and then the children can play the game or you can have family game night. But the same process as the puzzles. You want to make sure you empty out the box, dump anything out. And you can put a rubber band around the cards to keep them from getting scattered, and then that way the game is ready to play. The game board itself can be cleaned the same way that we cleaned our puzzles. Lay it out, and then take your Listerine spray and spray the cloth, and just wipe down the puzzle board. Then take your Murphy's oil soap, spray the cloth, and then just wipe down the game board. So it's nice and clean. Make sure you let everything dry before you put it back in the box. Again, just wipe down the outside of the box so that it's nice and clean. And then put everything back in the box and put your games in a handy location so that when you have family game night you're going to be you'll have all the games that are ready to go they're nice and clean all the pieces are there all the cards are neatly stacked so you don't have to be shuffling around looking for cards or stacking them it's all ready to go so there you have it today we have cleaned and disinfected our child, children's toys. We have washed our stuffed animals and checked to make sure the eyes are securely fastened. We have cleaned the books, we have cleaned puzzles, and we have cleaned all the games. So everything your child plays with is sterilized and germ-free and ready for them to play. Have a great time playing games with your children or grandchildren. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.